Uh, hello there at uh, London Sales. We've been trying to um, nail down some good tuning data for our customers. And we've been working with um, uh, Cyclops uh, load sensors. Uh, we also have a Sailmon Max on, on board with uh, a Calypso wind sensor, ultrasonic on, on the bow. You can just see it on the bowsprit perhaps there, just out of sheer, yeah, there it goes there. Uh, it's about the size of a um, tennis ball. Um, so we've got all the basic data here loaded into SailNord. Uh, you can see here the trap we've had, which shows you the wind speed and the wind direction, uh, which are completely out because the ultrasonic sensor isn't giving us good data. You can see the VMG is all over the place. Anyway, we, at the top, we've got speed over ground, VMG bouncing around between nothing and, and, the, and the speed over ground heading true wind direction. All the wind direction stuff is coming from the uh, Calypso sensor. And we've got the load down here uh, coming from the uh, Cyclops wind sensors. The Cyclops wind sensors are uh, just uploaded to a telephone, to an iPhone, and then we load all the data into SailNord. So we've got the whole suite of information to look back at to try and tie up uh, different elements to see if we can nail down what's fast and what's not. One really important element, I think, is heel and trim. Uh, this is the, the amount you're heeling the boat one way or the other. And then obviously the fore and aft trim as well. And you can often, uh, well, hopefully you'll be able to get, uh, be able to tie up some of these numbers. Here we go into a very average tack. Uh, with the sail node package and the sail mod data, you don't need the video. You can see we're fo still following the track here without the video. We're still getting the data um, so if you haven't got a coach boat and somebody with you and you can still look at all this data you just can't see a pretty picture of yourself sailing um, doing bad tacks um you can see the track here um you can break the track up you can zoom in and out to uh to have a closer look at the information unfortunately without without the good uh true wind information um it's it's very suspect but what isn't suspect is the load data here and you can tie the load data up with the heel data and the trim data and then the speed over the ground and that will give you a very good indication as to tying up uh, what's fast and what's not fast you can also share the information with other people in your training group and i think very quickly you'll get to understand what is uh what's 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 generating speed and what isn't here we've got the Vang, so the load sensor is directly tied to the, uh, to the last piece of rope before it attaches to the boom. So it's a one-to-one -one Vang load. And here we've got the clue. So I've uh, been a sailmaker, just put a bit of webbing on the clue, and tied the uh, sensor to it. So we can tie up Vang and clue. And they do, they do tie up, it's not linear, but there is a very, very close tie up as you expect between the Vang and the clue. I suspect ultimately the clue is the more accurate because the vang will depend on various angles. If your vang is, if you've got a long lever, a short lever, or how far back along the boom your vang is tied on, will change that load even with a static clue load. So um, the vang data is um, it's very interesting, um, but the most reliable would be the clue data. Uh, hopefully we can post more information as we get it. Uh, it's very early days. But we're hoping to be able to move tuning forward significantly with this data data. Thanks for listening.